There has been significant concern for the safety and well-being of women, girls and LGBTQ people in Afghanistan after the extremist militant group seized power. The Taliban is expected to enforce its extreme interpretation of Sharia law across Afghanistan which would see many women LGBTQ people persecuted. Under it, queer people and women could be sentenced to death. Human rights organizations are concerned that the Taliban's newly gained control of Afghan government will lead to instances of extreme violence directed at members of the LGBTQ community in Afghanistan. While LGBTQ Afghans say they now fear that they can be killed on the spot. Just last month, a judge in central Afghanistan told the German newspaper that gay men should be crushed to death by toppling walls onto them. Rainbow Railroad, a global non-profit that aims to help LGBTQ people facing persecution, is preparing to help LGBTQ Afghans attempting to escape. Founded in 2006 in Canada, the organization works to help LGBTQ people flee countries where they face danger because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. An 18-year-old gay Afghan who was seeking asylum in Austria because he feared persecution in his country had his application denied because the authorities said he did not act like a stereotypical gay man, citing his walk, behavior and clothing. The only country that is majorly helping the people of the LGBTQ community is Canada. Canada is resettling 20,000 people, prioritizing minorities, including the LGBTQ Afghans. Canada said last week that it would resettle more than 20,000 vulnerable Afghans. They will include women leaders, human rights advocates, journalists, LGBTQ individuals, those who belong to persecuted religious groups, and families of interpreters already resettled in Canada.